Okay, I just got a brand new Logitech Quick Cam Sphere, and um, I'm just going to go through a few of the settings with you so that you can understand what it actually does. Obviously, it's a webcam and it's got several options. If I turn on the Follow Me option, which I've just done there, it will follow you. As you can see and there's also an option to follow two or more people you can zoom in zoom out you've got a brightness adjuster mine set to the middle at the moment so it's plenty of brightness left um, you've got contrast which <coughs> excuse me is low uh, color intensity you've got a white balance uh, you've got low light boost, uh, color boost. There is a microphone actually with the base of the camera, but I'm using the headset as you can see because I prefer it. But the um, the microphone on the base is quite strong. I mean, you can speak in a quite quiet voice and it'll pick you up no problem. I'm just going to knock off the follow me so it doesn't keep moving. Right, you've got microphone settings. You can cancel the echo if there's any echo. You can suppress background noise. Um, you can choose between microphones like I've got my headset microphone chosen. And you can also choose line in and you can also choose the mic that actually is on the bass. It comes with the stalk, and at the moment I've got it on the stalk, so it's at eye level, it's straight, so it's a lot more practical. Or you can take off the the um, stalk and just connect it to the base, and it'll sit like a normal webcam will sit. Um, Let's try some other settings here. Um, you've got exposure settings, gain settings, anti flicker settings. You've got uh, 50 hertz for Europe and 60 hertz for North America, which some of you probably know that that applies to televisions as well. Um, you've got image orientation, you can put it on mirrored turn it off, you can put it upside down on the right way up and you can select a different camera so say if you've got two cameras you can change to a different camera you can adjust application preferences so you can set it up one way for say MSN Messenger and set another way for Skype so it's quite handy with the settings. Um, you got sh show webcam icon in Windows Toolbar. Um, keep quick cam on top of other applications, and you got auto preview photo or video after capture. Also, the thing which I'm actually using right now is the uh, video recording, which actually comes with the software. So that's also a handy thing so you don't really need a video camera you can also take photos with it which most webcams can do these days but considering the quality of this one you'll get a lot better quality photos they say that it will do up to a full megapixel photo I haven't tried it yet myself but considering the picture here I'd expect it to do what it says you also have video effects. You can choose a car cartoon character and it will put it on the screen and you can talk and it will seem like you're actually the cartoon character. So as you can see there can't see me talking because I haven't actually set it up but if it was set up that character would be talking as if I was it right back here
here. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other settings. Um, when 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 you knock the camera off, you, you've got a selection of pictures so that you can just turn the video off but not actually turn the webcam off. So then it'll display a specific picture. There's one. And there's another one. There's several more to choose from. I mean, if you get one, you can browse them yourself. Um, you can actually use photos of your own. So it's got quite a lot of good features. Um, quick cam video calling applications. Um, Skype and Windows Live Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, AOL Messenger and Logitech Video Call which gives you quite a few settings and you've even got a broadcaster to broadcast to YouTube um, it's something called Grouper which I presume is something like YouTube um, you can use Windows Movie Maker um, send a friend a Logitech quick cam as a gift. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And add new Logitech Vista gadgets to your desktop. So if you've got Windows Vista with the gadgets on the side, you can add a Logitech gadget if you wish. Right, I think that explains everything on here. I hope you've liked this video and I hope it helps you with you purchasing a webcam if you do decide to get one. Thank you.